Here we're going to look at using matrices to solve simultaneous equations. Now here we've got uh, two equations, and they're linear equations. We've got ax plus by equals e, and we've got cx plus dy equals f. Now using matrices, we can rewrite this system of two equations as abcd times xy equals ef. So you can see a times x plus b times y equals e, and that's our first equation and c times x plus d times y equals f, and that's our second equation. Now this 2 by 2 matrix here, if we just call this some matrix A, we can then write this as A times xy equals ef. And if we pre-multiply both sides by A inverse, on the left you just get xy, and this equals A inverse times ef. So this is what we're generally going to use to solve a system of two equations with two unknowns using matrices. If we look at this example here, we want to solve for x and y. Now here we've got 2x plus 3y equals 8, and we've got 1x minus 2y equals minus 3. So here we can let a matrix A equals, so just using the coefficients of the x and the y, we're going to get a 2 and a 1, and a 3 and a minus 2, 3 and a minus 2. So the first thing we have to do is calculate the inverse of this matrix. So A inverse is then going to equal 1 all over the determinant of A times, so the two entries on the leading diagonal, we have to swap these. So we're going to get a minus 2 on the top left and a plus 2 on the bottom right. And the other diagonal, we change the signs. So we're going to get a minus 1 on the bottom left and a minus 3 on the top right. And the determinant of A is got using the matrix A, and we have to multiply the two terms on the leading diagonal. So 2 times minus 2, and then it's minus 1 times 3. And this gives you minus 4 minus 3, which is minus 7. So this implies then that A inverse is 1 all over minus 7 on minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, 2. Now we're then going to use this form here, that xy equals A inverse times EF. Now, EF is the two entries we had on the right-hand side of the uh, initial uh, two equations. So here we've got an 8 and a minus 3. So here, this implies xy is going to equal 1 all over minus 7, a minus 2, a minus 1, a minus 3, and the 2, and then this is times the 8 minus 3. So when we're multiplying matrices, we always multiply a row by a column. So we're going to multiply this first row by this column. So this is going to give you 1 all over minus 7 on so we have to multiply the minus 2 by the 8, and that gives you minus 16. Then we have to multiply the minus 3 by a minus 3, and that gives you plus 9. So we've got minus 16 plus 9, which is a minus 7. To get the entry underneath this then, this time we have to use the second row to multiply this row by this column. So we have to multiply the minus 1 by the 8, which is minus 8, and then we have to multiply 2 by the minus 3, which is minus 6. So we've got minus 8, minus 6, which is minus 14. And then this is going to give you, so we know that 1 7 of 7 is 1, so minus 1 7 by minus 7 would be a plus 1. And 1 7 of 14 is 2, 
So minus 1 7 by a minus 14, again we give you a plus 2. So therefore, your x, y equals 1, 2.